Morocco is undergoing a change, shifting from French to English as its official foreign language. It's a necessarily slow and complex process. In this video, I'm going to explore some of the unexpected hurdles Morocco will have to jump over as it says au revoir to French and gives a big fat welcoming how do you do old chap to English. In 2022, wherever you look in Morocco, there is French. It's so obvious, it's almost invisible. People just don't notice that it's all around them. Shops, road signs, street names, bins, litter, public buildings, even manhole covers are all in French. It's going to take some time to remove evidence of Morocco's colonial past and it isn't going to be easy. Yet we already see some evidence of that change. Morocco has seen a recent increase in the number of English-speaking private schools, with more to follow. In 2022, Morocco opened its first STEM school, with English not just as one of its core subjects, but as a fundamental aspect of its educational structure. Also in 2022, Morocco announced a B1 level of English as a requirement to graduate in any subject from a Moroccan university. Education has a huge role to play in the installation of English throughout the country. But education, and by extension the government, can only do so much. Commerce and industry need to get on board with changes too. When it comes to marketing, what to advertise in what language seems to depend on the target audience. Morocco's youth regards French as an unwanted throwback to Morocco's past. The young see English as the fashionable language, so it makes sense for businesses to advertise to that demographic in English. This is why Morocco is seeing an increase in the use of English in its marketing of fast food and technology the mainstay of consumerism of Moroccan's youth. Advertisers, banks, shops, government, public transport, schools and even cafes will all have to find a route from French to English. Timing is everything. It's a journey towards a new Morocco that must happen quickly, but cannot go too quickly. Do so and you risk alienating the English illiterate in Morocco which will bring about resentment, irritation, and perhaps fear of the change. Move too slowly and you won't make any progress at all. At times, the government and businesses will have to lead the way, and at other times, follow the trends towards English set by the public. It's a process that's not always going to be easily managed. It will be relatively simple to change the petty taxi to the small taxi. The police will always be the police, although the Royal Gendarmerie may have a problem because there is no English word for gendarmerie. An even greater challenge is to find the perfect time and method to introduce English on official and legal documents and to change the name of some of Morocco's iconic institutions how long will it take for post Morocco to become the Royal Mail? Yet even all of that may be relatively straightforward in comparison to necessary changes to Moroccan cities. Tangier is Tangiers in English. Marrakesh is one of Morocco's major tourist cities, attracting people from all over the English and French speaking world. The question is, how do you spell Marrakesh? In French, the letter combination of C and H gives us the sh sound. So the French spelling is with CH, Marrakesh. But in English, CH is pronounced ch, making the city Marrakech. So in English, the city is spelled with SH. But it isn't just city names. The spelling of some boys' names will change. Rashid becomes Rashid, Ashraf becomes Ashraf in English. How willing are Moroccans to change the spelling of their cities and children's names?
Morocco is going to become an English-speaking rather than a French-speaking nation. Of that, there is no doubt. There is too much desire from Moroccans, particularly young and business entrepreneurs, for things to stay the same. That change is not going to be straightforward, but change never is. It's just a necessary part of life. C'est la vie, as they used to say in Morocco.